Hello students. Today we are taking polyhalides. What is an a polyhalide? In this session we are going to discuss F3 ion will exist. Today our topic is what is polyhalide and F3 ion will exist or not. First, let us see what is an a polyhalide. Generally, an a halogen item like Cl2 halogen molecule when combines with the halide ion, it forms a compound called polyhalide. That means containing more than one type of halogen or sometimes more than two halogen atoms either it is one type or two types or three types more than two halogen atoms and carrying negative charge or positive charge called polyhalides here chlorine combines with the i minus and form icl2 minus the same cl2 also combines with i plus it forms icl2 plus so, polyhalides will either cationic or anionic. But a student may have doubt. Iodine will exist in the negative charge, negative ion or positive ion. Undoubtedly, iodine will exist as a negative ion as well as a positive ion because of its large size and basic nature. So, it can form cation and anion. This cation and anion when combines with the halogens polyhalides will form. Polyhalides also formed by the interaction of interhalogen by the interaction of interhalogen for the sake of convenience I am taking B or F3 if it combines with B or F3 if it combines with F minus B or F4 minus. So, compounds will form like that. So, polyhalides will formed by the direct action of halogens with the halide ions or interhalogen compounds with halide ions. And polyhalides also formed by the self ionization of interhalogen compounds. If you take B or F5, B or F5. It self ionizes and form B or F4 plus and B or F6 minus. F6 minus. Here both are polyhalides. Or if you take uh, different ClF3 or I will take B or Cl5 or ICL5 or ICL3 it will ionize ICL4 minus and ICL2 plus. So, these are called polyhalides. So, these are the polyhalides how they formed by direct action of halogens with halide ions or direct action of interhalogens with the halide ions or by the ionization of the interhalogen compounds polyhalides will form. Now let us see classification of polyhalides. Classification of polyhalides we are going to discuss. classification. Based on the type of charge carried, type of charge carried, that means cationic and anionic, right?
Cationic means positively charged poly. Anionic means negatively charged polyhalides. Cationic based on atomicity. Based on atomicity. These are classified further into triatomic and second one pentaatomic and third one heptaatomic based on the atomicity. Here also triatomic Hepto, uh, pentaatomic heptaatomic right students this is the simple classification of polyhalides what are the examples for these triatomic pentaatomic heptaatomic Cationic ICL2 plus triatomic B total number of ions are 3 and it carries positive charge. Pentatomic ICL4 plus IF4 plus heptatomic 7 atoms IF6 plus right come to this side triatomic f3 minus cl3 minus br3 minus i3 minus i b or cl minus i cl2 minus right large number pentatomic i cl4 minus br f4 minus Hept and I5 minus heptatomic, IF6 minus, BRF6 minus, I7 minus. So, these are the different examples for the heptatomic. So, this is the brief explanation. But our important motto in this video is. F3 minus ion will exist or not? F3 minus ion will exist or not? Undoubtedly, F3 minus ion will exist. F3 minus ion will exist. What is the proof? Which theory which explains the F3 minus ion existence? Generally, Cl3 minus will exist, I3 minus will exist, Br3 minus will exist because their maximum valency of those halogens will exceed greater than 1. But in case of fluorine, it will be always 1. In what way it explains the F3 minus? Really, it exists. If it exists, how can? we will satisfy the their existence here for explaining the concept of this f3 minus existence student must have some awareness on the molecular orbital diagram of fluorine because here i am going to explain going to explain f3 minus existence with the help of the F2 molecular orbital diagram. Look at this. First, you observe the F2 molecular orbital diagram. In this F2 molecular orbital diagram, I am taking the Z axis as the internuclear axis and I, I want to distribute the electrons in this molecular orbital diagram. Generally, fluorine has 9 electrons, F2 has 18 electrons. This is the energy diagram for F2 molecule. 
So I want to distribute these 18 electrons in the molecular orbital diagram. So here I am distributing 2 electrons. Here is 2, totally 14 electrons. 14, uh, totally 4 electrons, 14 more are there. Again 2 electrons here. Right, 6 electrons. Here 2 more electrons, 8 electrons. Totally 18 electrons are there. 8 electrons are distributed in the different molecular orbitals. 10 more electrons are there. Students, here 2 more electrons. Here 1, 1, again 1, 1. Nearly 16 electrons are completed. Sorry, 14 electrons are completed. This is the 15, 16. 17, 18. Right? This is the distribution. In this, uh, this can be considered as homo molecular orbital. Homo. High energy occupied molecular orbital and it will be considered as lumo. Lower energy unoccupied molecular orbital. Right? How the F3 minus will exist? How this diagram correlate, correlates the formation of F3 minus? In general, F2 when combines with the F minus, F3 minus ion will exist. This is an experimental data. F2 gas when treated with the CS fluoride, cesium fluoride in the gaseous state. At 15 Kelvin in the presence of organ, F3 minus will exist. This is the experimental proof. So that means F3 minus will exist. How can you explain theoretically its existence even it has no more empty orbital because, because fluorine atomic number is 9. You write the configuration 1s2 and 2s2, 2p5 no 2d orbital in the valence shell 2s in the in the valence shell 2p this 2p has only one unpaired so it can form only one bond but for the existence of the f3 minus undoubtedly one fluorine atom have to form have to form two bonds that means it's need the valency of two how can you explain very simple student very simple this f2 molecule have the empty sigma star 2 pz orbital this f2 molecular orbital has empty sigma star 2 pz orbital this empty sigma star 2 pz orbital will combines with the f minus ion so here it provides here it provides sigma star 2pz. Here it provides mt. It, it provides p orbital, p orbital, right? These two combine and they undergo overlapping, forming the bonding that is sigma star 2pz and p overlapping. This in this way, in this way, this F3 molecule minus will exist. F3 minus molecule will exist. Right students, thank you for your support and thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed. Please allow your friends and your circle to subscribe and please like my videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.